the oath that I took this past Sunday to defend and support the Constitution makes it necessary for me to object to this travesty. In politics, two years is a long time. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. But for the Republican Party, it's not long enough to put an end to election conspiracy theories. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. According to a newly released Washington Post report, 53% of Republican candidates on the ballot for the U.S. House, Senate, and key statewide races have denied or still deny the results of the 2020 presidential election. I will not allow the people to be ignored. That includes the delegation from Colorado. Representatives Lauren Boebert and Doug Lamborn were the two Colorado Republicans who voted against certifying the election in January of 2021. Republican Ken Buck is the lone Colorado conservative who voted to certify the results. I have no doubt that there are some massive irregularities going on. That was off. from January 2021, when Congressman Doug Lamborn voted against certifying the presidential election. Since then, more than 63 lawsuits from multiple states alleging voter fraud have been thrown out, almost all of them due to a lack of evidence. We reached out to Congressman Doug Lamborn's office eight times, just hoping to get an interview with him, but he never agreed to talk with us. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, though. I'm very proud to have taken that stand, and I, I believe that there's things that we need to look into. Did not shy away from our questions. Well, and I want to know what your view is now. I am proud to have stood with 146 of my colleagues to object to the certification of the Electoral College results for the 2020 election. Those views, though, are at the core of the split. It, it is creating a schism within the party itself. Where the divide reaches locally, too. Of elected officials and candidates. Carl Schneider is the vice chair of the El Paso County Republican Party. He's a Republican that's worried about what election deniers are doing to the GOP. What it really does is it turns off those undecided voters. What undecided voters want, what Republicans want, what I want is logical, sound thinking and the following the processes and procedures of law. Statewide, a majority of election deniers didn't advance past the primary in June. You were one of the few Colorado Republicans that actually won their primary while still being an election denier. Most of them lost. Does that surprise you or what does that say about you? Well, I think your question um, is uh, a little slanted, um, calling me an election denier. It is the proper role of my office to actually look at the information that is coming to us. The Washington Post projects that more than 50% of election deniers are going to win their races this November. That number includes Lamborn and Boebert. H-E-I-D-I. -I. Not included in that figure, though, is Colorado gubernatorial candidate Heidi Ganahl, who is a Trump supporter. Do you believe that there was widespread election fraud in 2020? So I believe Joe Biden is our president. Um, I, I also believe that a better question is, why do so many people feel like he isn't or there were issues in the election? And all's choice for a running mate, Lieutenant Governor nominee Danny Moore is one of those people. We were all really upset about that election, or a lot of us were, and kind of in disbelief that um, things could go that way. Your request. In January 2021, Moore posted on Facebook that mail-in ballots caused voter fraud and that the Democrats stole the presidential election. He's now said that he does believe that. He wrote that in that Colorado Springs Gazette column a couple months ago. Is that enough in your eyes to say that he's not an election denier? You know, many of us said things in the heat of the moment, and he um, he clarified that right after that. The media just hasn't covered it. While Moore and Ganahl say they believe the results are legitimate, Colorado Republican Senate candidate Joe O'Day does too. In fact, he's even taken it a step further. What is your view on President Trump running in 2024? Well, I've been vocal. I, uh, I, I don't think he should run. I don't think Biden should run. I don't think Trump should run. But while Congresswoman Lauren Boebert says the party is in great shape heading into November, Republicans like Carl Schneider say the party needs to move past 2020 and conspiracy theories if it hopes to win over undecided voters. It lessens the impact of their position when they continue to uh, follow, foment, and, and perpetuate a false narrative. I don't think uh, there is any evidence that would change their mind. For KRDO News Channel 13, I'm Spencer Soysher.